Raymax, working for the future. Committed to recycling, material and process control. What you see here is our laboratory. The activities carried out here form an important part of our company. This particular Heros laboratory has been in operation for over 10 years and enables us to examine the ash in much greater detail. Nowadays, we conduct analyses of incinerator bottom ash in a comprehensive manner. We document the composition of the ash and identify which raw materials can be extracted and recycled. For this, different instruments are available, including a number of breakers, which reduce the particle size at the same time releasing the metals. Of course, sieving processes are an integral part of the lab equipment. They're used to separate the different sized fractions, which serve as basis for an extensive ash analysis. Following this, we remove the metals from the ash with a mobile eddy current separator, which you see here. The entire procedure is a simulation of the treatment processes carried out in our facility. The extracted metals are separated into light and heavy fractions with the aid of a liquid. We do that with this instrument, which has been developed in collaboration with the Technical University Delft. Thus, we always know how much metal the ash contains, so that we can best manage our operational processes in order to extract even more and even finer ferrous and non-ferrous particles. Moreover, we're improving the quality of the mineral ash in accordance with the Dutch Green Deal. We do this by identifying and examining numerous data on the mineral fraction's chemical composition. Among other parameter, we test the heavy metal content and the chloride content. This particular facility, for example, tests the eluates, with which we determine the salinity of several ash samples, to prove that our hydromechanical process delivers the required results and thus meets stated provisions.